Good evening. It's Wednesday, January 8, 2020 here in Cebu City. I'm Cherry Ann Lim and here's all you need to know in Newsbits tonight. Unlike in the past three celebrations, there will be no interruption of cellular phone signals during the activities of Sinulog 2020. Here's Nico Tubo for the details. Unlike in the past Sinulog celebrations, there will be no interruption of cellular phone signals during this year's fluvial procession for the Feast of Senior Santo Nino and Sinulog Grand Parade. Cebu City Mayor Edgardo Labella and City Police Office Chief Engelbert Soriano revealed the development during the final briefing of the deployment of police force this morning. Soriano said they will only shut down phone signals if there will be suspicious persons and items seen during the celebration. He added around 1,600 policemen will be deployed starting tonight in preparation for the start of the nine-day Novena Mass in Basilica Minore del Santo Nino tomorrow. Meanwhile, Councillor Dave Tumulak announced that the Metropolitan Cebu Water District will put water stations along the Sinulog Grand Parade route. Tumulak advised the public to bring tumblers instead of buying bottled water. Niku Tubo, News Beats Tonight. Tumanhog Cebu Mayor Efren Contrano Hika was arrested at his house this afternoon for graft and corruption. Here's Kenneth Torres for the details. Dumanhog Cebu Mayor Efren Guntrano Hika was arrested at his house in Barangay Poblacion Wednesday afternoon over graft and corruption. This after a complaint was filed against Hika before the office of the Ombudsman Visayas after he hired Filipino senior Bambu Manyalak during the town's fiesta in 2015 without undergoing the bidding process. Former Dumanhog Town Mayor Nelson Garcia was the one who filed the complaint. Garcia is Hika's fiercest rival and critique. Based on the warrant issued, Hika violated Section 3 of Republic Act 3019 or the Anti-Graft and Corrupt Practices Act. Cebu Provincial Police Office Director Roderick Mariano denied allegations that politics was behind Hika's arrest, adding that they were only following the court's mandate. Hika said he is confident that the case against him will be dismissed. He admitted that he was embarrassed after a picture of his mugshot taken by police had already circulated. In 2014, Hika was sacked as Dumanhog mayor after the anti-graft office found that he committed serious dishonesty and grave misconduct for tampering a restaurant receipt. Hika appealed the matter before the Court of Appeals and was eventually reinstated as town mayor in 2019. Kenneth Torres, Newsbits Tonight. Amid reports of a mysterious disease from China, the chief of the Bureau of Quarantine in Cebu has advised travelers and the public to refrain from wearing protective masks so as not to cause panic. Here's Nico Tubu for the details. Amid reports of a mysterious disease from China, Bureau of Quarantine Cebu Chief Terence Anthony Bermejo advised travelers and the public to refrain from using protective masks so as not to cause panic. As health officials still grapple with the cause and transmission mode of the disease, wearing face masks and turning off air conditioning units may not be effective ways to prevent the viral pneumonia of unknown origin. Bermejo revealed that they still do not have protocols on how to deal with the mysterious disease. But he assured that heightened usual quarantine protocols, including passive thermal imaging, are in place. However, those who are immune compromised or those who are malnourished, undergoing chemotherapy, and those who have diabetes and HIV are advised to wear protective masks. Cases of the mysterious disease were first detected in Wuhan City in China. Clinical signs and symptoms are mainly fever, with a few patients having difficulty in breathing. Department of Health Central Visayas Director Jaime Bernadas advised the public to fortify their immune system by avoiding stress, having enough sleep, taking vitamins, and observing proper hygiene. Nico Tubo, News Bits Tonight. For the latest in sports, here's Kenneth Torres. 
After a frustrating first-round knockout loss against Colombian Oscar Escandon in California, Jack Tepura remained positive in achieving his boxing dreams. The 24-year-old Cebuano boxer said he did not lose confidence despite his defeat because of the support shown by his fans. Tepura said he wants to bounce back, adding that his first loss became a lesson learned. Tepura was knocked out by his opponent's hard left hook to the body. Tepura now holds a boxing record of 23 wins, 1 loss, and 17 knockouts. Manny Pacquiao Promotions announced that Tepura is set to grind out another boxing fight on March. Kenneth Torres, Newsbits Tonight. Get the latest, visit www.sansar.com.ph. Follow us on our YouTube channel and official social media accounts on Twitter and Facebook. I'm Cherry Ann Lim. Good evening.